translations. Boy, what? The point minus 12, 2 is on the graph of y is equal to g of x. All right, let's translate a few things. Let's move it all around. First, let's go on over here. Bam, I have f of x is equal to twice g of x. Now, this is y is the function formerly known as g of x. You can't see that there, can you? Can, can, can. Y is the function formerly known as g of x. What are we doing? We're doing 2 times g of x. So, 2 times g of x is 2 times y. That's why I take that point and I double the y value. Because y is equal to g of x. Here, we're looking for twice g of x. So, if I'm going to double my y, then my point's going to be minus 12 times four, sure, or two times two. Now what do we do? We're coming over here and we're changing g again. We're changing g again. Here we're gonna take g of x, y. We're gonna take g of x and we're gonna add five. That's y. We're changing our y value. It says take g of x and add y. So g of x, oh, I don't change my x. That's a minus 12, but I'm gonna take two and I'm gonna add five to it, giving me seven. So that says add five to y. That says double y. But now we're inside that guy. Now, we need to look at the, f the point and the formal point of the point. Here, g of 2x, what? 2x is equal to whatever that x value was, minus 12. So my new x is minus 6. And that's how we get a shrink out of this. You need a shrink. Whoa! If I take that x value, boom, and I take half of it, my new x value is minus 6, and I have the regular y. Deuce. One more. Let's go. Let's get this guy. Here, my g, whatever my x was, I'm gonna, yeah, subtract 4 from it, and that's gonna be the new x value. So, I have x minus 4. What was it? It was minus 12. Sure. So then I add 4 to both sides. x is, our new x is um, minus 8. Great. Wait, that's why when it's in the x group, it goes opposite the way you think. Sure. So my new point, boom, is a minus 8. And what was my old y? I heard 2 was the old y. Let's put it all together in this next example. What if we're looking for that f of x, where that was uh, 2 times g of x minus 2 plus 5. Oh boy, this is the complete package. Yeah, in this example, let's first find our new x. If we're finding our new x, we set the x group equal to the old x. So then x minus 2 is equal to a minus 12. So our new x is a minus 10. Then, let's find our y, everything that affects y. This is double y plus 5. Double y plus 5. So our y value is 2. So we're looking for our new y. So our y value is 2. So this is 2 times 2 plus 5. So our new y value is 4 plus 5 or 9. Fine. So if we're taking our, if we're finding our f of x, and it's 2 times g of x minus 2 plus 5, that's gonna be 9, 10, 9, boom, tip of the hat, no wag of the finger, <laughs> Woo. translations, dilations, Run! whale noise at whatever this is, comment on that. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>